Hi. In this video, I will show you how to use Timer Zero module of PIC16 F877A microcontroller. The program will be written in XC8. In this example, Timer Zero creates a timing tick of 500 milliseconds. The controller uses this timer tick to toggle an output LED, connects to RB0. Hence, the output frequency from RB0 is around 1 Hz. The controller uses an external crystal oscillator with a frequency of 20 MHz. Typically, most of 8-bit microcontrollers like PIC16 F877A operates at plus 5 volts. Now let begin this programming. I already create this project using its wizard. However the source code sheet is blank. So I need to write C code here, using its XC8C compiler. I need to put a title in source code that will remind me later. The programmer need to import the xc.h header file. It contains most of register definition in the special function registers, SFR. The config.h header file, is already in this project. But I have to call it here. I set a name of a LED which connect to RB0 pin. Now let move to main function, in the main.c file. I declare a variable that store the timing ticks creates by timer 0. Port B must be clear first. And then I will set it to output direction. Because RB0 connects to an output LED. I clear the TMR0 clock select bit, T0CS, allowing timer 0 to use an internal instruction cycle as its clock source. I use timer 0 prescaler. So the prescaler assignment bit PSA will be cleared. I use a 1 by 256 prescaler. So the prescaler select bit, PS must be assigned to 7. Finally, the timer zero register must be cleared. Main task will be written in this while loop. TMR zero or timer zero register is free running, since the controller start up. In this loop, the program needs to check, whether it exceed 200. If it's so, the variable CNT will increase its content one time. It will create a timing tick of around 10 microseconds. Then TMR0 will be clear in software. Whenever CNT counting exceed 50, it will create a timing tick of 500 milliseconds. Then the output LED will toggle. After that we will need to clear CNT. Now it's ready to build this project. In this simulator I draw the circuit first.
Here is its reset circuit. It must be pulled high. Its clock circuit is optional in this simulator. However I put and connect them the MCU. In the properties window, I will need to set its clock frequency to 20 MHz. And then I need to set its program file, that I have just created earlier. Now I click on the run button to make it works. I put a cursor on its waveform. As we can see it high time is around 500 milliseconds, which is the same to its low time. So its output frequency is 1 Hz. Now let move back to the IDE. I'm going to upload this code to microcontroller, to test it on breadboard. Now it's successful. I have already set up this circuit on breadboard. Now it's running as expected. The LED connects to RB0 is blinking at the frequency of 1 Hz. Now I turn the power off. Thanks for watching this video.